for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Infinity Health, in addition to uh, Decatur County Public Health, are hosting today's awesome webinar. The webinar is Six Medication Tips You Should Know, and it will be presented by Dr. Matt Craig, PharmD. Um, so just a little bit about Infinity Health. We offer behavior health services as well as medical, dental, and pharmaceutical. We also offer urgent care services, women's health care services, and so much more. So to find out more information about Infinity Health, go to www.weareinfinityhealth.org. And now I'm going to turn it over to Holly. Hey, thank you. I am Holly Rich, Decatur County Public Health. Uh, we serve all of Decatur County Public Health, um, age ranges from prenatal all the way to over 100. We provide 17 different services within Decatur County. Um, just to touch on a few, we do uh, vaccines for children, we have a nutrition program, a tobacco cessation program, um, parents as teachers, and a healthy pregnancy program. So uh, we are easily reachable at our office uptown on the square in Leon, or you can find us online at decaturcountyiowa.org or on our Facebook page at Decatur County Public Health on Facebook. So um, I am going to turn it over to um, Dr. Craig to start his presentation. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, my name is Matt Craig, uh, pharmacist here at Infinity Health, uh, working alongside Adam and Ryan. Uh, my presentation here is six medication tips that you should know. Okay, so brief overview. Firstly, just want to talk a little bit about what we do here in Infinity Health Pharmacy, uh, some information about the 340D program. That's something really critical to our operations here at Infinity Health. Uh, medication safety, uh, how to properly use and store your medications, medication adherence, how to properly utilize medications in a way that they're prescribed to you, and uh, how to navigate drug shortages, which is kind of a hot topic right now. Also, some questions to ask your pharmacist. So we are a community pharmacy located inside of Infinity Health's Leon office. Uh, we do your typical pharmacy things here. We dispense medications. We offer consultation on those medications. We also offer delivery service and clinical pharmacy, which is a new program for us. So our delivery service, uh, we deliver Monday through Friday to anywhere in Decatur County. Uh, there is no additional cost to you for the service. It's as simple as giving us a call. Um, arranging a time for you to be home and a time that we can have your medication ready for you and we'll come right back. Uh, our goal is to remove the lack of transportation as a barrier to medication access for our patients. So this is really what started this idea. Next, clinical pharmacy. This is also a new service that we have uh, recently started. Um, it's really to provide a higher level of pharmacy care for uh, patient populations that need uh, just a little extra extra look at their drug therapy. Again, no additional cost to you, along with the delivery service. Uh, you can even utilize both. So really what this is, it can be in person or over the phone discussion with the pharmacist about your medication regimen. Uh, we look at your entire drug therapy and a lot of things we look for could be deprescribing, uh, where maybe there's a medication that was prescribed to you at some point in the past that may not be appropriate for you that's been refilled um, and that's just something that as pharmacists we can take a look at to try to decrease your pill burden or the amount of medications that you take each day. Uh, gaps in therapy. So that could be, uh, for instance, someone who has diabetes and they're not on a cholesterol medication. Um, that might be something that we can bring up to your doctor that it might be appropriate for you to start something like that. Drug affordability. Um, if you're having trouble picking up your medications due to cost, that's something that we really put under the microscope to see how we can help you and also any other barriers to medication access. So our clinical pharmacy program really has two different arms here, two different services that we can provide. Uh, first one, comprehensive medication review or CMR uh, that really looks at the uh, entire health status of the patient, considers all conditions and medications. Uh, these sometimes the appointments can take up to 45 minutes to an hour because we really want to do it right by you and, and take everything into account. So what we do in these appointments, we'll collect patient-specific information and assess appropriateness of drug therapy. So we're looking at drugs that you're currently taking or drug classes that maybe you should be taking uh, and try to work together with you to make that a shared clinical decision that we can then talk to your doctor about. 
appointments. Okay, and yes, again, I want to make that clear that during these appointments, it is a conversation between pharmacist and patient uh, regarding your drug therapy that the pharmacist would then talk to your medical provider and consult them, present these proposed changes or concerns, and ultimately they would have the final decision on it. So the other service is a little more narrow. It's called a targeted intervention program or a TIP. This really just looks at one drug or drug class. So sometimes uh, we get alerts through our online platform that identifies uh, patients that might be good for this. And maybe they haven't filled their cholesterol medication uh, in a timely fashion over the last two or three fills. And they would like for us to reach out to you and see if there's maybe a reason for that, if it's uh, you could benefit from using a pill organizer or if it's the cost, medication, the cost of the medication. Um, and it's yeah, often centered around medication adherence and, and addressing those barriers, whether it's transportation, costs, uh, not understanding the need for the therapy, um, or any other barriers that you might have. So again, similar to the comprehensive medication review, uh, we can find a resolution during these appointments to pharmacist and patient. Um, sometimes you may have to consult your provider, but it may be as simple as just signing you up for a refill and putting you on uh, a program that we have called Prefill, which essentially will refill your medications uh, prior to them running out the next time so you don't have to call. Also, we can identify gaps in therapy, such as using, uh, maybe you might benefit from having a maintenance inhaler if you're using a uh, rescue inhaler quite frequently. Um, that would be something we could uncover during these appointments, and we would put a bug in your doctor's ear, like, hey, maybe they need to be on some sort of long-term controlling agent. Uh, so that is what we look for in those. So under the 340B Drug Pricing Program, I'm just going to read the definition here from their website. It's a federal program designed to stretch scarce federal resources as far as possible to reach eligible patients and providing more comprehensive services. So what that means here at Infinity Health is that we can provide more medication options at the best price for our patients by utilizing 340B. Uh, and really the impact to the patient is lower out-of-pocket drug costs and access to a wider range of drug therapies. So the way this program works, um, it is entirely funded by drug manufacturers. Um, there is no tax burden on any taxpayers. Um, it's essentially a program that was enacted in 1992 that pharmaceutical manufacturers want to participate in state Medicaid rebate programs. Uh, they also have to provide medications at cost to these qualified facilities, which Infinity Health is. Uh, there's a restriction on this. Uh, the prescription does have to be written by an Infinity Health medical provider, dentist, or behavioral provider and filled at our Infinity Health Pharmacy. So this is a nice graphic of how the 340B discount works. Uh, you can just replace hospital with clinic in this situation. But essentially, step one, the manufacturer provides the 340B facility with a discounted drug. Um, then the 340B uh, facility provides medication to the patient, uh, including people with personal insurance. So this can be utilized even if you have insurance or you don't have insurance. Um, essentially, if you do have insurance, we will always look at what your copay is and what your 340B copay would be. And we give you the cheaper of the two, so you're always going to get the best deal with this. Uh, and then the final step, the insurer reimburses at the full negotiated rate to the pharmacy. And the clinic uh, keeps that difference as a profit, which allows us to have uh, and capital to continue to expand our services here at Infinity Health and uh, continue to provide and innovate. So medication safety, there's really two main components to utilizing medication safely. There is proper use and proper disposal. Maybe you're done with it. So proper use. Um, for one, taking medications that FDA has prescribed, whether that's with meals, twice a day, uh, avoiding dairy, storing medication according to the pharmacy manufacturer instructions. So it's going to be kept in the fridge, uh, should I keep it out of sunlight, things like that. Utilizing child-proof caps and making medications inaccessible to children, pets, or others. And then getting into disposal. So really the best option for medication disposal is something that's expired or you may be prescribed a pain medication that you had after surgery and now you're no longer in pain so you don't need that medication. Uh, really the best option is to drop this uh, unused medication off um, at a prescription drop-off box. 
So there are a couple located in Decatur County. One is at the Sheriff's Office in Leon, and the other at Ivy Pharmacy in Leon. Uh, and then the sort of second tier, um, if you're not able to utilize one of these, you can uh, wait for a DEA take back day. Those occur twice a year um, at the Sheriff's Office. And then if you're unable to be able to make either of these work for you, it is perfectly acceptable to dispose of these at home in regular trash. And we'll get into how to do that on the next slide. There's also something called the DEA flush list, which we'll talk about also. So this is a nice graphic about how to dispose of medications at home. Um, firstly, you should mix the medications uh, with some sort of substance like dirt, cat litter, use coffee grounds, in a plastic bag, put that in a plastic bag, and then you can just throw that right away in your household trash, pretty easy. It is also important to protect your personal information uh, on your prescription bottle. Uh, you can black it out, white it out um, before you throw it in the trash as well. So the DEA flush list is really only intended to be used as a last resort. So these are medications that the DEA does give authorization for you to flush them down your toilet. I know there are concerns um, about water contamination, but in this case, these are medications that there is less harm and less risk by doing that than potentially having them fall into the wrong hands. Uh, so yeah, medications that have a high risk for misuse and abuse or can be very, uh, very harmful or even deadly if even one dose is taken by someone who doesn't have a tolerance to it. And these are primarily uh, opioids. So I've got a list there. This is not everything, but these are some of the examples that you can flush if you cannot get to uh, Dropbox. Okay, medication adherence. So uh, first step to that is really just getting your medications filled with the pharmacy. And adherence is uh, exactly what it sounds like. It's adhering to your prescribed regimen of all of your maintenance medications, uh, remembering to take meds on time, understanding the directions, and here are some helpful tips on how to do that. So taking meds at a consistent time each day, if you have five or six meds that all say in the morning or with breakfast to make that more efficient and easier to remember, just go ahead and take them all at the same time. Uh, you can tie your medications to daily activities, like I brush my teeth and then I take my morning pills, or I have my breakfast and I take my morning pills. Uh, keeping a list of active medications is readily accessible. So this is really important for a lot of people, especially folks that are on several medications that may have more complex disease states that have frequent changes in their drug therapies. Um, always keeping an updated list. That way, whenever you get home from your doctor after a change has been made, you can throw away that old medication so that way you're not inadvertently taking something that has been stopped. I've seen that several times. Uh, being conscious of trips or vacations and planning refills accordingly. So uh, not a good deal. If you run into a situation where you're uh, going on a vacation somewhere, you may not be close to a pharmacy, and <clears throat> you run out of pills, and it could be something that's very critical. So just just kind of be conscious of that and communicate with the pharmacy. Uh, ritualizing and refilling your pill organizer. So maybe you bounce your checkbook on Sunday evenings, and you also refill your pill organizer on Sunday evenings. Uh, and also involving friends or family. So if this is something that you you have several medications or you're not feeling real confident that you are able to set these up for the week. This are one of your friends or family, and I'm sure most of them would be happy to help you out. Okay. And also marking your calendar when it's time for a refill. So here's some stats on medication adherence and really how important it is. Um, 20 to 30% of new scripts are never picked up from the pharmacy. Uh, that does happen quite frequently. Uh, medication not taken as prescribed 50% of the time, which is a large number. Uh, and only 51% of patients taking meds for high blood pressure continue taking their medication during the long-term treatment. And this is really important because high blood pressure is one of those things that you don't necessarily feel most of the time. Even if you're running a little bit high and above goal, uh, oftentimes you will not have any symptoms. So a lot of folks think, I don't have any symptoms. I don't know if I necessarily need to be on this. Uh, but it does prevent a lot of long-term issues. So it is important to take your meds exactly as prescribed. Um, and also, yeah, six months out after starting something new, most patients uh, fall off the wagon. Um, and so that's what the pharmacy is here to, uh, to try to keep everything together. So here are some barriers that I have seen to people taking their medications appropriately. Might be fear of side effects. 
So that's something that you could have uh, an honest conversation with a pharmacist or doctor um, about educating yourself on these side effects. Um, I know how it is whenever you see those leaflets and they have 35 side effects listed. Um, those aren't all going to happen to you. But uh, there are things that have appeared in studies and they may be less than 0.1% of people, but they have to put those on the leaflets. So, but there are some very serious side effects that should be addressed uh, with your pharmacist or doctor. Next, cost. I see a lot of folks don't pick up their medications due to cost, but this is where the 340B program uh, can really, really carry its weight. Lack of symptoms or misunderstanding the importance of medication. So uh, similar to the story about uh, high blood pressure or high cholesterol or high blood sugar, you may feel perfectly fine, even though your labs say that you need to be on some medication. So just understanding the long-term implications of, of leaving things going untreated. Too many medications, this happens a lot too. You see folks on 15 or 20 pills a day and things slip through the cracks. Um, so it's important to work with your pharmacist on coming up with a strategy to make sure that you're taking everything as prescribed, a system that works for you. And transportation, a lot of folks can't get to the pharmacy. So we, again, delivery five days a week, anywhere in Decatur County, and we can also mail uh, prescriptions anywhere in the state of Iowa, with the exception of cold products. Okay. Yep, so just work with your pharmacy team, communicate with us, and we can work to address each of these with you. Okay, so navigating drug shortages, these are kind of a hot topic right now. There's a lot of issues that can cause them. They could have trouble getting the active ingredients, they could have trouble with labor and supply chain, quality control issues in production, um, or even natural disasters that occur at the site of production, like we see sometimes. So um, to navigate these, it's really critical that you keep in contact with the pharmacy because we will have the most up-to-date information, uh, whether your drug is available or not. We can look at our wholesaler website anytime and find out exactly how many boxes or uh, packs they have of your medication. Uh, it's never the goal of your, the patient's pharmacies or the prescriber's uh, ideal scenario to have this happen, but they do happen. Um, you also might hear some things on the news about a drug that you take becoming unavailable. So don't panic. Talk to your pharmacy and we will work through it. Uh, be confident uh, in your healthcare team that we will ensure that you have the right drug therapy for you. So problem, my pharmacy says that they can't get a drug I take. What can I do? Uh, number one, this might be one of the first things I would do is ask your pharmacist and provider uh, if there are any options within the same therapeutic class that would have the same effect. So there are hundreds of blood pressure medications out there, maybe temporarily, uh, we switch you to a different blood pressure medication that is available uh, that could have the same effect. Or does another pharmacy nearby have it in stock? Or uh, is it something silly like they can't get my 10 milligram dose, but it does come in a five and, and the pharmacy can just change that to take it two at a time. So usually there is uh, a pretty easy solution to these problems, but they're never convenient. Okay, some questions that you might want to ask your pharmacist. Uh, and again, we do counsel on all new prescriptions, and especially if we think someone might need counseling, we might interject there. Um, but these are some things that if your pharmacist hasn't clarified for you, these are really good questions to uh, come forth with yourself as well. Um, but again, as pharmacists, we really offer a general consultation to most people. There are so many different complexities with disease states and, and interacting medications and interacting diet and lifestyle. Um, that we really try to tailor it to each specific patient, but you may have something going on that we're not aware of. So that's something that you would definitely want to communicate with us. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much. Um, Holly, you come yeah, I just wanted to touch on some of the things Dr. Craig's already hit on. Um, the locations of medication drop boxes within Decatur County. Um, there's one at the Decatur County Sheriff's Office. There's also two located at the Hy-Vee Pharmacies within Decatur County, one in Leon, one in Lavoni. Um, other resources to help manage your medications within Decatur County. Um, Decatur County Public Health does have medication pillbox organizers. If you are interested in receiving one of those, you can give our office a call or swing by and we can give one to you. Um, we also have the Decatur County Healthcare Transportation Van that Infinity Health, Decatur County Public Health, and Decatur County Hospital have partnered on. That transportation van will transport you to pick up 
your prescriptions um, if you want to pick them up in person and have a consult with your pharmacist. That's something we can also provide to you as well. Um, like Dr. Craig mentioned, the sheriff's office participates in the drug um, take back days. Those are on Saturdays, usually in the spring and in the fall. Um, and we learn what those dates are gonna be. We can make sure we push those out on social media. Um, there's usually something in the Leon of one of my newspapers about that as well. And then, um, we have some more additional resources on our flyers that we have. Um, with some more um, community resource and referral items as well that you can reach out to Infinity Educator if you need to look up. We would be more than happy to point you in the right direction on services that you need. Well, thank you so much, Holly. In addition to that, uh, Dr. Craig had also mentioned about the prescription medications, tracking them, putting them on your calendar. So on our website, www.weareinfinityhealth.org, if you go to our news page, uh, you'll be able to find where we have the document that Holly has presented, as well as a tracking form for your medications. And that way you can safely administer them, know when to refill them, add any notes that you need to add. But that way you have a way of keeping your prescription medications organized. So we would like to thank you so much for being here today. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Holly or myself. The information will be on our website and we're happy to help you in any way. Thank you so much for being here.